Looking to buy or sell in the summer? Is it better to wait until season hits? Today we're going to talk about it. Yo, I'm Adrian, longtime Florida realtor, and I'm here to help you get your Florida life. Happy Wednesday, everyone. These videos come out every Wednesday. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, I do have a market update newsletter that comes out monthly. You can sign up for that by clicking the link in the description below. Today, we're going to talk about when is the best time to buy or sell real estate in Southwest Florida. I'm in Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte specifically. To start with, let's talk about when the busy season is in this area. Spoiler alert, I don't think everybody should buy or sell their house during season, but you should know when our season is when you're buying or selling around here. It's different than most of the rest of the country that considers spring to be real estate season. Here it's typically January through March and often it bleeds into April. That's because it's snowing up north and everybody wants to come to Florida. When you look at a chart of closed sales, you'll see the most closings typically happen in April or May. May closings are big because the sales actually happen in April or March. The biggest exception to this rule was in 2020. That was due to the pandemic and the patterns surrounding that. Typically, we see a surge of homes hit the market around the beginning of January. Many sellers wait until the beginning of January to put their homes on the market. If you're thinking about selling, you may be wondering if that's something you should do. The answer is different for every individual and something that we should discuss individually, but I'll give you the overall feel of the difference between waiting and not waiting. First, if you don't put your house on the market, it is unlikely to sell at all. And if it does, it's unlikely to get the best price. I know you're getting mail that says, well, buy your home cash. You could sell it that way, but in the free market, opening it up to only one buyer is not the best way to get the most for your house. These companies would be out of business quickly if they offered you top dollar. You should also notice that we have closings all year round. So if you're sitting here in the summer thinking, I'm ready to sell, but I heard that I have to wait until January to sell, I would say not true. Properties go under contract every day. Now, if it's December 20th, I'm probably going to tell you to wait it out. The last two weeks of the year are very slow for showings. You might as well wait. But in July, if you're ready, let's go. That being said, you should know a few things about selling in the latter half of the year. First of all, and mainly, you're likely to get fewer showings. However, the showings you do get are more likely to be serious buyers. Buyers coming to look in July can be very different than buyers in February. I've known many sellers to get excited in February about all the showings they're getting in their first week, only to get frustrated when the feedback starts coming in and it sounds like, I'm not ready to buy yet, just doing research, etc. If you're wondering why agents show homes to buyers who are not ready to buy, I can tell you, every agent is hoping they buy right now too. That's the best. And it's happened to me that buyers not ready to buy do snap up a home. Sometimes we think they're ready to buy, they think they're ready to buy, and then things change as they learn about the market or about the housing here. Doing research is part of the process, and when you're on the market, you become part of that process for a lot of buyers. Now, when we look at days on the market over time, there's not a clear time that days on the market are necessarily lower every year. Sometimes we see the lowest days on the market in the summer and even the late fall. There are a couple of reasons I believe that might be true. First, the sample size is smaller in the latter half of the year. There are typically less homes on the market because some sellers do wait until January. And second, sellers who put their homes on the market in the latter half of the year know that they're off season and there are fewer buyers in town. This leads me to bring you buyers into the mix. When should you buy? Well, that surge in January typically has sellers who feel like, we're going into season. There's all this traffic on the road. The buyers are here. Let's shoot for the highest price to start. Even though they typically have the most competition in January, they feel like they can get the most out of their homes at this time. They are ambitious. As a buyer, you should know that I find sellers more likely to push for their price in the beginning of season when they just put their homes up. At the same time, you have the most options during season. 
Sometimes I see buyers in the latter half of the year stressed out because they can't really find what they want and there's not as much on the market. This was true even before 2020 and the low inventory that you hear about so much in in the last couple of years. So they wait for seasons so there will be more out there and there is, but often the prices at least start out higher in the beginning of season. If you're looking to buy though, and you're very picky, don't want to do much work and want what you want, you might have the best luck during season. At the same time, if you're really picky, you want to start now. The best house for you could come on the market tomorrow and you would never know if you're waiting till season. If price are getting the most off the listing price is important to you, you might find March and beyond better for you. However, I would argue the best deal is the house you will stay in the longest. If you save $10,000 but want to move in a year, you typically don't really save any money. As your realtor, you make my life better, but that's not really a savings for you. You also want to get started when you're ready to buy. There you go, real estate seasons in Southwest Florida. Let me know if I can answer any questions. Sign up for market updates below, and I'll see you next week.